You've had four months of opportunity to get behind candidates in this city, not just me, but including me, is the only candidate running for mayor in Christchurch who's a sovereign loving, freedom loving, the dem democracy loving candidate. And there are many out there who have known that. And unlike all the other supporters here today, you've done nothing to your shame. And based on doing nothing, you people out there, I'm talking about people out there on social media who have thousands and thousands and thousands of followers. I'm talking about other so-called freedom groups who have seen me stand and other candidates stand and do nothing. I'm talking about, and it grieves me as a pastor, churches out there who haven't got behind a candidate with Judeo-Christian values and moral values and have done nothing. No, no, it's All you people who have done nothing, do you understand? Do you get that you've missed an opportunity You've missed an opportunity to have candidates and a mayor in this city to support this campaign, to have a freedom-loving, sovereign-loving, democratic-loving mayor or city councillor. And that's to your shame. Now, we serve the God who does the impossible, so it's not over, folks. Who knows what's going to happen? And like I said before, regardless of the outcome, we've already won. But I hope to all you people out there who have missed the opportunity and done nothing and are still complaining about the state of this country, the state of our city, I hope you wake up, I hope you get some insight and with all due respect, I hope you grow up before the main elections next year and have a change of heart, a change of mind. I hope you grow mature enough to realise that ostracising other people in the freedom movement is not a way of winning, folks. It's a losing path. 